Uh, well, we're going to turn to sexy food, okay? That's what it's about. And this is going to be the sexiest food alive this morning. I can tell this just purely from the amazing smells, the aromas circulating through our kitchen at the moment. A fusion dish, okay, which brings together some of South Africa's favorite things. An open fire, we love it. Uh, grilled meat, we love it. And curry spices, we love it. This is one not to be missed, please. So put down whatever you're doing and let us uh, put ourselves in safe hands with uh, Teresa. So um, we know that Obviously, you have the most amazing sweet treats, um, but I think you and I share a similar f flavor profile. A lot of what you make, I'm like, oh my word, that's the <laughs> best thing I've ever tasted. And I have a feeling that our chicken tikka skewers are going to be very much along that path. Yes. There are so many spices and aromas, some oh. fresh. Um, there's a lot popping. I'm guessing this is going to be our, our garnish. We're using our, yes. whoa, whoa. Um, throwing our beautiful Be Well <laughs> canola oil. We've gone for the lemon flavor yes. um, here this morning, and I'm using it to condition my skin as well. And you can do that, actually. Yes, um, it really is it. worth it. Yep. Um, but take us to the very beginning. There yes. is a lot going into Is this? Yeah. Chicken tikka, is tikka a set thing? Is it a set flavor profile or is it yeah, kind of, because you hear it used a lot. Years, yeah. yeah, and I think it gets adapted depending on what region you're in. You know, it's not sort of a set thing, but lots of flavor, lots of color. Don't be intimidated by the amount of ingredients we've got here. Okay. It's very, very easy. Basically, you're going to put it all together, make a delicious marinade. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah. I'm loving the fact that there's peanuts, peanuts involved here. Very, very yes, exciting. Yes, I know. Okay, peanuts, let's, let's hop to it. All right. So, I've got some garlic, some ginger, Pour and some chili. Oil all over you myself. Nice and that's, yeah, that's the way I like to start. <laughs> uh, we were talking about earlier that you didn't take your conditioner to the beach, Jamie. Well, I've, I've found a nice there we go. conditioner in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I've thrown some peanuts, peanuts in there. Peanuts, uh, bird's eye chili is my favorite yes. at the moment. I love it, just the right amount of heat. Um, I, I sweat profusely when I eat too much chili, <laughs> so I have to find it's the perfect like yes. balance. Okay. Look at all of this. So wow. we've got smoked paprika, turmeric, cane pepper, and garam masala. Oh, wow. So we're going to put that all in there. It seems such a shame to mess up this beautiful I know. spice. The color palette, spice yeah. palette, if you will, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we've got cumin and coriander. And you don't necessarily have to do that at home, but it can be quite cool. If you've got a little black slate, yeah. <laughs> just, just lay out your spices just before you use them. Yeah, Instagrammable. Totally. I'm going to add some honey. Honey, okay. All right. And again, this is all about that balance, I suppose. Yes. You want to have the sweet, totally. the sweet, the heat, bucket loads of coriander. Coriander, yes. But uh, uh, it's getting worked <laughs> in, okay, to the to the recipe, so I'm not Gotta too averse. Gotta have coriander, yes. And then we're using the Be Well garlic oil. Okay. To put that into a paste. I think the zesty okay. lemon could go just as well, but I love the fact totally. that that flavor really does come through yes. when you're dealing with an oil that has a very high smoking point, which is great. Um, yeah. Their flavored canola oils are magic. They're affordable. We know that they are sustainably sourced as well. Um, the flavor is amazing, but they've got a, an a, unbelievable, equally amazing array of uses as well. Yes. Just like our sauce. Right, so we're going to blitz this together. Okay. The smell from our sauce is amazing. Oh, it's yeah. immense. Right, so I'm just going to give that a shake. So obviously you can add a little bit more oil if you want to kind yes, of up the, the liquid content. Make it more yeah. of a paste. Do is actually double up on this marinade and then you can keep it in and the fridge or the freezer yeah. and then you've got it for okay, cool. when you need a quick dinner and then because obviously the oh my goodness amazing here i mean just <laughs> use that as a dipping sauce if totally. nothing else that is so so nice so what you're going to do is you're going to cube your meat so we've got chicken today but you can use beef lamb or cauliflower okay, if you're going for the veggie option pleasant. oh yeah and especially the, the smoky paprika the curry yes. flavors work on a cauliflower beautifully so delicious so pop that in give it a really good mix and let it marinate I would say for at least an hour, but if you could do overnight or a couple of hours even. Yeah, and this is quite nice because it's better. skewers. I mean, it's, it can be quite diverse. A lot of people say use the brown meat, use the fatty brown meat so it doesn't dry out, especially on a braai. But there's yeah. something quite nice and fresh about using the breast on a skewer, but yeah. then you don't want it to dry out. So having a nice marinade that's going to coat it, that's going to give it that, yes. that additional moisture, the oils, that's going to help a lot. That's it. And in terms of your cooking method, you can put them on the braai, which is great because you get, again, that smokiness. The smokiness, sure. You can grill them, you can fry them. And it's know, a nice however. balance because I think we generally brides are very red meat heavy. Yes. Um, let's yes. be honest. So to have a balance 
Um, and this can be quite nice and light. You have pair this with a beautiful uh, fresh salad. It, it can be a really beautiful. nice light meal just done on the grill. Yeah. Yeah. And quick as well. Yeah. But you can um, put it on your griddle pan and then finish it off in the oven as well. That's another option. How amazing does that smell? So, oh. Yes. Got to invent that for our TV <laughs> because you miss out on half of the enjoyment of being in our kitchen. The, yes. <laughs> the scents and smells smell are absolutely vision. amazing. Okay, so our, so our skewers on the go. Then what's going on over here? Quickly. Right. So this is our cucumber. You can slip on the oil that I've poured all over the. <laughs> I'll the be floor. very careful. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we've got some double cream uh, yogurt okay. in the bowl, and we're going to be adding our Be Well lemon, lemon. oil. Lemon. Okay. This so this is our sort of accompaniment for the chicken. Oh, it's kind of like a tzatziki yes. vibe, yeah. So I'm going to add some cucumber. And we've got beautiful cucumbers. I've, I'm yes. guessing in season at the moment because they are so sweet and delicious. <laughs> My boy, I love it. If I'm struggling to get in greens, I'll just cube up cucumber and put that yes. with whatever yeah, he's having. So, so if he's having his little nuggets, just bam, some, some cucumber squares. So I've added a little bit more coriander, um, cumin. The, oh, was that cumin, the spice cumin. that went in there? Yep. Okay. So I would compare this to tzatziki. Sa it's very yeah. similar, but obviously with a bit of a spice element a bit as more well. Oomph. And a bit of zing. Oh, so stir wow. that together. Right, are you going to pop that on the plate for us? Okay. And I'm going to check on our chicken. It's looking great. Oh, delicious. They, they just smell so amazing. And I, I quite like a bit of um, char on my, yes. my skewer, like a check. A little bit that. of extra flavour. How do you like it? My cresting wave. That is amazing. It's called a wave <laughs> of flavour. I've tried to emulate what our what Nicole, our amazing food stylist, has done, Lovely. but I, I always fall horribly, horribly short. <laughs> right. Beautiful stuff. The go. keyword here, you want to SMS uh, be well as a word to double three seven two eight, and we'll send you a link. You click on the link, and we'll send you this full amazing ingredients list. And these Lovely. are beautiful. It's popping with flavour, popping with colour. It kind of really ticks every box. So while we totally. finish off a little bit of char on our gorgeous grilled tikka chicken skewers. Let's take you through exactly how we arrive at our end result. Take a look. So you might think I say this about all your recipes, Teresa, but this is a winner. It might be the winner. It's beautiful and there's enough to go around. We're going to share this with our whole crew. Again, the key word is be well. You SMS that to 33728 and we'll send you the recipe um, for these beautiful chicken tikka. And this is a, a great base. If you want to make anything tikka, you now have the base ingredients. And of course, key to both our gorgeous tzatziki-like sauce with a little bit of zing and a kick and our tikka sauce, um, our marinade, our be well canola oils and we've gone with two amazing flavor variants.